What's up everybody? So we've got Callie here, but today we're going to go do some things. I uh, just got to deal with the Guru Bros, so we're going to go take some pictures to post on the Instagram, and we're going to bring Callie with us. But then also, um, I have a lot of people asking about potty training, so we're going to run over some potty training tips to help you train your puppy way faster and super easy. So let's get into it. All right, so about to take Callie. Come on, Callie. Oh, come on, jump down. Come on. We're about to take Callie to go take some pictures with these hats. I've got two different ones here. And then another shirt, so it looks like it's a different time, but two different hats. Link in bio. These are literally the best hats you'll get. Love these things. As you can see, we're out here. Don't need a leash. Never use leashes. Just train your dog properly and you'll be good to go. All right, what's up guys? So we got this little puppy here and I get this question all the time about what is the best tips for potty training? Oh my gosh, my dog's peeing everywhere. What can I do? So I want to run through some things and hopefully give you all some tips to really help you a lot with um, potty training. This little puppy right here, I thought, you know, I'll just use her as an example. She's one of the puppies. She actually is available right now, but um, she is an F1B standard golden doodle. So uh, she's absolutely amazing, great little temperament on her, but I wanted to just run through some things with her and kind of explain to you um, the best way to go about potty training your puppy when you get them home. The first thing that I like to tell people when they're getting a puppy or taking them home and you start potty training is start your dog on a structure, a structured day. So what I like to say is when you first get your puppy home, you should be taking them out every 45 minutes to an hour. And another thing is don't let your puppy just run around freely without you by their side. Um, if you're not at home, put them in the crate. Don't let them out because that will encourage them to just kind of do whatever they want. And then it's more um, enticing and they'll end up, you know, slipping up and peeing on the floor. So what I like to say is, you know, when you wake, when you, um, wake up and you get your puppy out of the crate, don't let them walk to the front door, pick them up so they can't pee and then walk them to the outside and then they can pee in the grass. Um, and then you wanna be very positive with them after they pee and everything like that so they understand, okay, yeah, that was a good thing. So that is number one. But then also throughout the day, you should be taking them out. When they're outside the crate, you should be taking them out every 45 to minutes to an hour. And as they get older, you can kinda of prolong that and they'll learn how to hold their bladder a little bit more and then they can, they start to pick up, okay, yeah, I use the bathroom outside, not inside. Okay, so um, number two is, and I kind of touched on this in the last part, but don't let your dog go unattended throughout the house. So if you're in this room, it's okay to let the dog kind of run around right here, but you want to be with your puppy 24 seven. And um, while it's outside, you know, in your house, don't let them just roam around because then they could sneak around this corner or something like that and they'll find a little spot and they'll use the bathroom. Um, and then also the other reason why you want to have them on a structure is so that then they kind of pick up on things and they understand the way that it does. But if every day is different for the puppy, you're adding in a bunch of different variables that it's just hard for a puppy to kind of thrive and do better in. All right, so once you have your routine and your kind of structure down with your puppy, um, one sign that the puppy is getting ready to pee or it wants to go outside is it'll really start sniffing around um, and it'll kind of be wandering off a little bit from you. So as soon as that happens, you want to pick them up super quick and then just take them straight to the door, put them on some grass and let them pee. Um, and you don't want to hesitate, even if they didn't actually need to pee, but you just thought so. It's okay to be safe and sorry, but if you can avoid as many accidents as possible in the house, that will make your life so much easier. So the top um, and the most important thing is to do that. Another thing is um, when a dog does have an accident inside, which will probably happen, and that is totally okay. It's part of the learning process. Not everything's going to be perfect, but once they do, you want to make sure that you really clean 
the area and everything around it really well because if the puppy smells that pee again just a little bit it'll be more enticed to pee in that area again so you want to make sure that if the puppy does clean or pee in the um in a little spot you want to make sure you clean that completely so that it doesn't remember that it just peed there a little while ago so that is the biggest tips that i could give you is put them on a structured plan stick to that structure and then obviously as they get older you can kind of um, get a little bit more lenient but really when you take your puppy home stay on a structured plan and then taking that puppy out all the time and then if it does pee on the ground you make sure you clean it really 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 well and if you do those things i really think that you're set up for success and it'll help your life a whole lot easier and make everything amazing. Okay, so another tip that I wanna give, this is for breeders, um, is I actually raise my dogs on chips, um, wood chips. So that will actually make it a lot easier for potty training, at least in my experience, that's what I've seen. Because the wood chips are a lot more like fluffy and it feels almost like grass. And so when you put, the only problem with raising a dog on a real like hardwood floor when they're real young is they'll just poop on or pee on that and they'll kind of learn to not really care too much about where they're using the bathroom. This is just in my experience. Um, so I've seen whenever I put them on chips, it makes potty training in the house way easier because they've been using the bathroom in more of like a concealed, like private to them place, which the chips are um, because it's more fluffy, it's more like grass. So if you're a breeder or you have puppies, Definitely recommend um, raising them on chips and then you just take a little scoop and you just scoop out the poop and it makes everything super clean and super easy to take care of. So that's what we do and some dogs, like my brother's dog, actually they never even had to potty train them or potty train him because he just, I don't know, he just picked up on it super fast. Now I'm not going to say all of my dogs are like that because they're not. But what I've seen is it makes the process a lot smoother and easier from being with their little siblings and pooping wherever they want to, to moving them into the house where they're a little bit more restricted, but it definitely makes the process a lot smoother and faster. Mm -hmm.